Okay, so I wanna talk about how we can troubleshoot an output on a PLC. Now every PLC will be a little bit different in the way that their terminals are lined up, but for this one, we're gonna use the MicroLogic 1400, okay? So here you can see, we got a little note that says, does not work. So this output is not working anymore. So I can see here on my screen, when I activate the green push button, I'm getting an output to uh, output one on my slot zero, but the light is not coming on. So let's go ahead and walk through how we troubleshoot something like this. Now you can also verify that the output is turning on right here in the output data table file. So when I activate the green push button, it is changing to one, okay? So now we need to begin to troubleshoot the process. Now, this is a discrete output. So um, the advantage of a discrete output is that it's very easy to troubleshoot. Now this is a light. So the first thing you would do is check the bulb. And I know the bulb is good on here. And so I'm not gonna waste your time doing that. So now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna take a voltage measurement off the back of that to see if the voltage measurement is coming in here because this which will be our very first step. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is check voltage back here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this to volts AC. Now you need to verify what voltage is going to be present here. Is it gonna be 24 volts DC or 120 volts AC? The red wire here coming to the output indicates that this is AC and most of the time the color code can be trusted but you always wanna be careful. You may wanna go look back at the schematic just to verify, or if you're really unsure, you might wanna take the voltage measurement from as a both a DC, a DC setting and an AC setting if you're not sure. Now I'm confident that this is an AC uh, circuit, so I'm gonna come here and I'm going to measure the AC across here, and I am getting zero volts. Now if I, I can verify that I'm sending voltage out there. I'm sending a logical signal to the output and I'm not getting anything. So you can see that there's no voltage here being displayed on the meter. Now I know that the device is not the problem. So I can go ahead and close this up and then I can uh, start to troubleshoot from there. So now if I were to trace these wires back, I would find very quickly that there are no terminal blocks in here or up into the point where we actually get into the control panel itself. So let's go ahead and dive into the control panel and how we could figure out, is this a wiring problem now or is the output on the PLC bad? So that's the next phase. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force this output on so I can see what's going on with it. So I'm gonna force this output on. And right now, my light's still not on, but now I can begin to troubleshoot where I'm losing voltage. So I would do this a little bit different if I was out in the field not filming a video as far as where I would put my voltage measurement. I wanna make sure where, I'm, I, where I know where I'm pulling a neutral from. So I'm gonna come over to where I should have a consistent 120 power. So I have uh, a neutral here and a hotline, okay? And I'm getting 120 volts, which is great. Then what I wanna do is figure out which output this is. Now, this is where things get different. Every PLC will be a little bit different, but when you're checking an output, what you wanna do you wanna put your neutral in a place where you know that it has a signal. So we went ahead, verified this is 120, so I'll leave my neutral here. So I'll come in here and I'll test the terminal block at one. So this wire right here runs to the light that we just tested. So we click, we, we select here, nothing. We have no voltage here. We come here select this, we have no voltage. So then that means that the problem isn't here, okay? Because if we were getting, let's say we were getting uh, voltage here, but not here, the terminal block would have been cut, which would be very unusual. All right, so let's trace this up now and we'll go to output one, all right? 
and output one is on the top layer here. And again, I know that it is forced on and I'm not getting anything here, all right? So what that means is the output isn't closing. This is a relay type PLC. So now what I can do is go to the power source on the other side of the contact for the output and it is 120 volts. If I come here, I'm not getting anything. That means the contact for this output is not closing here, meaning that the PLC output is bad. There's nothing we can do to fix this output. We could, if we needed to, swap the PLC out or move the light to an output that we know works if there's space on the card with the type of voltage that's required. So now we know, and this is how we verified it. So we just traced the power back, making sure we're on this neutral, to where the power should be. If this was on, we should be getting 120 volts through here because this would close, electricity would flow through the power line, it, through here, through there, and you can see this on the uh, schematic diagram, out to the light. So it's not the light that's bad, it's not the wiring that's bad, the PLC is bad, the output is actually bad. Now let me show you something here. I'm gonna come to the output and I'm going to force this on, okay? Now let's see how this is different. All right, so this is a, so right now, here's, I just forced output zero on. So if I come to my zero coming in here, you can see on the schematic where I'm at, 120. Come up here, oh, 120, right? So that means that it is functioning, that it is turned on, okay? I can even trace that down to here, 120, 120, and I know if I trace that back to the green light that's on over there, that we would have 120 volts flowing through there. All right, so now we know that contact's bad and we can feel confident that we may have to replace this PLC when we report back to our bosses. All right, so that's just a little introduction into troubleshooting a PLC output.